welcome back. We're going to get started for lesson one. So the first one we're going to look at is your writing book. So your writing book, I want you to turn the pages four and five in just like this. I want to be talking about the posture at the piano. So it's very important to have the correct posture so that you're comfortable playing at the piano. So on this page, we're going to circle the picture that goes with the words. So let's go ahead and take a look at the first set of pictures. Which Carlos is, uh, sits straight and tall on the front part of the bench? So he, who's sitting straight and tall facing the piano and the bench? So circle the one that matches what the words say. Okay. Good, you should circle the top one. He's sitting nice and straight in front of the bench. Let's look at the next set of pictures. Which twin, so which twin? With arms straight, your knuckles should touch the fall board. Okay, and adjust as you need to. So the fall board on the real piano is where your music sits, or right in front of your music. So you wanna be not too close, but you don't wanna to be too far where you can't touch your fall board. So which picture should we circle? Good, we wanna circle this one. You can see her arms are out and they're touching. She's sitting nice and straight. Remember, you can always adjust your bench, especially if you have an adjustable bench height or adjustable music stand. Okay, good. Let's go ahead and take a look at the next page. Okay, which Dallas has the hands in your lap and the back is nice and straight. So we want a straight back, so we have good posture. So which one would you circle? Hands are in the lap, sitting nice and straight. Good, we should have circled this Carlos, okay? And now the last one is Katie. It says to balance a small stuffed animal on your head. So can you count to 10 and keeping a great posture? So that's a good way to make sure you're staying nice and tall. Um, the closest I have is a bean bag right now. So you can try that out, okay? So this one, she's falling asleep. So try this out, grab a stuffed animal. In fact, actually I have something I can use. Not quite a stuffed animal, but it's an action figure. Now, if I'm sitting straight and tall, he is not going to fall off. If I'm slouched down and gonna fall asleep, falls off. So go ahead and try that. So you want nice posture, grab that stuffed animal, put it on your head and sit nice and tall. Good, so you wanna make sure that you circle this one. All right, now we get to listen to one of the CD songs. So we're gonna be going into your lesson book and we're gonna be on page five. So there's a spot here where you can put your picture if you have a picture that you'd like to put. For this song um, that goes with the CD, it's also on the online on the MP3. It says that you can keep a steady beat clapping you can also take out, if you have anything like that, I have some music makers. You can get a spoon and a pot or pan. So this is just keeping the steady beat to the song. So we're gonna go ahead and listen to that song together. This is called Roll Call. One, two, three, four. One, two, ready, stay. Keep a steady beat. Stop one, that one. Two. So that's a fun way you can play over and over again. It's just a way to keep a steady beat. And the piano we use is called, it's a metronome that keeps a beat. And they are all sorts of different rhythms. I know you learned about quarter notes, half notes, and whole notes already with me. So this is just a fun way to, can you keep a steady rhythm with your hands? 
on your shoulders. Or if you have some music makers, you can go ahead and keep a steady rhythm to the roll call song. So I hope that's a fun one for you.